Hello everyone! Welcome to another Zelda tier list. Um, right after that last uh, tier list where I did all the Zelda games, you know, I closed out of that and then immediately like two tier lists, you know, down was the Legend of Zelda Waifus tier list. Um, yeah, Legend of Zelda Waifus tier list. And I was like, well, you know, I do have a lot of opinions. And I opened this up and I looked through and I went, yep, I, I, I have to make this. Look at these, look at all these characters. I love the selection of characters here that they have. Um, I know I spent a long time on that Zelda games tier list. I had a lot to say. There was a lot that I didn't say. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do these, to do this one much quicker. Especially since there's so many of them. So, um, it looks like these are in alphabetical order of, like, character to some degree. Because, like, Agatha is down here for some reason. But then, like, Link Between Worlds, Link to the Past, Zelda, there, Breath of the Wild. I love that the Captain N and the uh, regular cartoon Zelda are in here. I like that the Zelda's Awakening Zelda is here. Um, Faces of Evil and Wand of Gamelon. I love it. I love this selection, and immediately I was like, I have to do this. Um, I'm just going to go in order of this, um, just because that seems like the best option. Um, I'm going to put Agatha here, because A-G would go before A-L. Um, we've got an S-plus all the way down to F, which means that everybody that I really like doesn't have to go into an A tier just because... Um, and this is the way that the tier list started, too, by the way. So, that's really great. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, let, let, let's talk about it, right? Um, Agatha. She's creepy. She's weird. I love her. I'm gonna put her in C tier. Um, I love her. She sucks to play in Hyrule Warriors. But I love her as a character. I think she's a great character. Not as great as some of the other characters. Um, I'll put her at B, actually. Um, I, I just, I really like her, you know? She, she's, she's great. Um, Link Between Worlds Zelda. Did she even have, like, a personality? <laughs> I'm gonna put her in E tier just because... I mean, you saw how much I dislike Link Between Worlds in the last video. I don't even remember anything about freaking Link Between Worlds Zelda. So, that said, if we want to talk about fan art, uh, Nono Works on Twitter does an amazing Zelda. Um, I think technically she does Link to the Past. Because she does the blue outfit that she has in Link to the Past. Um, which I don't see that in here. Which annoys me slightly. Because if I were to pick Link to the Past, I would say yes. Um, because of that blue outfit um, that she has in the official art, but not in the game. So, um, that said, Link to the Past Zelda, I mean, again, she really didn't have that much of a personality, and she's basically the same Zelda as Link Between Worlds. Um, if it, again, if it were the blue art, I would put her higher, but it's the actual art of the actual outfit she wears, so that's unfortunate. Anju, S tier, absolutely. I, I don't know that I would claim S plus, but absolutely S tier because to this day, I cannot play Majora's Mask without ending the game after the Cafe and Anju quest line. 
I love Anju so much. The manga version of her is so hot. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. She is so attractive in the manga. Um, I, I just, I just love everything about Anju. I really do. Um, Ashe. I'm gonna put her in E because she, she shows up, says hi, and that's the last you ever see of her. Um, I, I, and I know I'm like exaggerating on that, but it, that's basically it. She's not in it for any length of time. You get no idea of her personality. She's okay. Attractiveness wise. Um, I think the fact that the first time you meet her, she's wearing the giant Yeti mask puts me off quite a bit, <laughs> but oh well. Um, Astrid from Phantom Hourglass. Uh, she was the, like, prophesier, um, prophet, that's the word, um, like, lady. She wasn't, like, that interesting, but I definitely remember, like, the first time I saw her, I was like, yes, please. Um, I don't know, I really did, I, I liked her. But the very fact that I, like, had to stop and remember who she was, I just can't put her any higher than maybe D tier. Um, now this one is a bit divisive. Breath of the Wild Zelda is one of my favorite Zeldas. If we're going based off of the Japanese version of Breath of the Wild, I... No offense to the English voice actress. The English voice actress did a great job. You know, she 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 voiced a character well. <laughs> she did not voice Zelda well. It, it it every time I hear her, I go, "What is this voice? This is not Zelda." Oh my god, freaking! I hate it. <laughs> I again, I don't hate her voice actress. To be clear, I don't know of anything else she's been in, but I don't hate her voice actress. She just didn't do Zelda well. If she was voicing another character, she did so she she did well. Um I was gonna say fantastic, but I don't know that I would say that. If she was voicing somebody that wasn't Zelda, you know, if, if she was meant to be playing somebody in their twenties, um her voice is too mature. I'm just gonna be honest. And I know that's terrible because, like, women really don't, like, the, their voices don't change as much as, like, guys do. Um, but she just sounds too mature to be playing it. Uh, I, you know, she, 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 she plays the voice more mature than the character is meant to be. That said, if we were to go off of the, you know, Japanese Zelda from Breath of the Wild, who did a phenomenal job, like, ridiculously phenomenal job, one of the best voicing I have ever heard, then I would definitely put her all the way up at the top of the list. Now... I'm going to be honest, I didn't ever watch the Captain N TV show. That was after my time. Um, I did, however, watch the original 13, 13 episode Legend of Zelda that was part of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Because I've never watched Captain N, but I know that these are supposed to be similar or even the same character, 
I'm going to put her in F just for Captain N. Not so much as a I dislike her, as much more of a I really don't have any experience with her. That said, Cartoon Zelda is one of my favorite versions of Zelda. Like, I, I love her spunkiness. I love how she acts. I love how she, you know, interacts with Link. You know, the, the constant back and forth between Link and her in the series. Like, gonna be honest, I did an Ocarina of Time, like, fanfic novelization of, um, or like, you know, back when I was like 15 or so. The Link and Zelda that I based them off of, the Link and Zelda from that, were based on these. <laughs> you know, my, it, my Link was the, well, excuse me, Princess Link. And my Zelda was the cartoon Zelda. <clears throat> At least for like the first part of it. Um, once I got into the time skip part, I had discovered the manga and I basically just copied the manga. I still regret that vastly. So, but yes, these are some of my favorite iterations of the Zelda characters. Um, King Harkinian especially. I freaking love the freaking cartoon King Harkinian, man. He's great. Um, Sia. I mean, she's sexy. I, as a villain, she wasn't amazing. She's sexy. She does become pretty cool in the, like, DLC slash definitive edition content. Um, but I don't like playing as her. She's got an obnoxious laugh. And all in all, despite, like, having this, like, sexy, like, top half, she's completely covered from the waist down, and that is detrimental, in my opinion. I'm going to put her in B tier. Um, now, Ciela, um, I'm going to be honest with this one and say, uh, I really do don't have a great opinion on any of the fairies themselves, like from the games. However, um, and I hope that, uh, I think she goes by Humanoid Magpie. Um, I hope that she doesn't mind that I'm showing her art of this. But this is one of my favorite pieces of Zelda art. Um, I love Navi, Ciela, Neri, and Tattle. I love Tail and Leaf. And going based entirely off of game Ciela, I don't know how high I would rank her. But if I were to go based off of this art of Ciela, I mean, look at this. Look how cute she is. Like, come on. Look at that. She's cute as heck. <laughs> like, seriously. As well as Navi. Like, look at look at Navi. Look, look how cute she is. I love this piece of art. I use I still use this as like art for like my fairy characters. Um, but if we're going based off of what what little I remember personality wise. And based off of that one piece of fan art there, I would absolutely put probably all of the fairies in A tier. We'll see as we go. But they'll probably all be in a line right here. Um, Kremia is, I mean, she's a kid. She's all right. Um, I love her quest line. Um, or no, wait. Hang on. Is this? Hang on. 
This is Kremia. Kremia is the older one. Why is that? This is a picture of Romani. That's not Kremia. That's why I was confused. Because I'm like, wait a minute. Because shouldn't that be Romani? Yeah. That, that's Romani. This is a picture of Romani, not Kremia. I guess they were going, be like, oh, no, because then it, because she's still Malin either way. Um, maybe it's because they were using adult Malin. I don't know. This is Romani, not Kremia. If it's Kremia, B tier. Absolutely, because I love her quest line. Um, I don't even see Romani in here, so... I think that it's just the person making this forgot. <laughs> so we're going to say this is Kremia and not Romani, even though the art is Romani. And we're going to put her in B tier because, yes, please, I love freaking Kremia. She's an amazing character. So don't get your picks forks out because I started out putting her in D tier because I was looking at the art, thinking of Romani, and then I went, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, Din, absolutely S tier. One of my favorite characters from the Oracle series. Uh, her and Nehru are both up here, you know, in the S and A tier. Din was just always sexier to me. I don't know if it's that she's the dancer. I don't know if it's the darker skin. I don't know if it's something because, like, Nehru has the more flowing outfit, but Din has the more form-fitting outfit. I don't know what it is. I just like Din more. I think she's sexier. I think she's more attractive. You know, I, I like her. I just like her more as a character. That said, I mean... Favor doesn't have anything going for her because she got cut out of her own game. And as much as I love her design, unfortunately, I really, really dislike green, like, to a ridiculous extent. And I don't like these, like, giant freaking, like, buns in her hair. Um, I'm going to put her in F less for dislike, but more just, there's nothing there to say one way or another, you know, how I would feel about this character. There's nothing, there's just nothing there. Phi, definitely an A tier. In fact, I would put her here because I love Fi. She's an amazing character. Um, and honestly, I, I might have fallen in love with the art um, that I believe it's Sky Waker is the name she goes by on both DeviantArt and on Twitter. Um, but the humanoid phi that she has been doing is, like, to, uh, yes. If this was Skywaker's phi, it would be S+. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just never found phi that annoying, I'm gonna be honest. I just did not really have any issues with her. I know that it's a big meme to dunk on Fi and be like, ha ha, she was so annoying, right? No, not really. Not, no, not really. I, I really didn't have any issues with her. Isn't it so funny to dunk on her because she pops up and tells you, like, your batteries are low? Isn't that so annoying? No? Because, like... If she pops up and tells you your batteries are low, that probably means you want to pause and replace the batteries. You know? No? She, she's not annoying? You want annoying? Go with the freaking Faces of Evil Wand of Gamelon Zelda. Who I'm putting in E-tier. Because, oh my god. 
She is so bad. <laughs> no, you know what? She has to go in C tier because she's so bad. Because it, it's... She's so bad that it wraps around and becomes good again. And then wraps around and becomes bad again. <laughs> like, seriously, she is so bad that she literally wraps around to becomes good. And then continues onward to being bad again. Uh, I love her. She's so terrible. I love everything about her. She's going in C rank. Uh, Four Swords slash Four Swords Adventure Zelda. I'm going to put her in C rank just because it's another case of there just isn't a lot there. But also, I feel like there was more to her than like these characters. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, Great Fairy gets an absolute F rank because, I mean, just look at this face. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at this face. Look at this face. Tell me you are not horrified. <laughs> she's going in S because she's terrifying. Uh, the Healing Lady from A Link to the Past. I know everybody loves to dunk on her. Because well, what are you doing in there when she heals you? But she really just doesn't have anything. She has no personality. She has two lines. There's nothing there. In fact, I'm going to put her in E tier because there's so little there. Uh, Henna. She's ridiculously cute. And I love her. But also, she's just not my type. She's not the kind of character I would go for romantically or anything else. She's fun. She's cute. I don't know. She's a C tier. Hilda. I, like, thought she was the weakest character in A Link Between Worlds. She had no reason to be the villain. She just was. You know, you, you spend the entire game running around and helping her. And at the very end, when you have basically completely screwed over whatever she was trying to do, she that, you know, after she has helped you to screw herself over, then she comes in and is like, oh, I was the villain the whole time. Then why did you help us? We literally destroyed your plans. Why did you help us destroy your plans? Um, this is Hyrule Warriors Impa, because I see Ocarina of Time Impa over here as well. Um, Hyrule Warriors Impa, I'm going to put at a solid B tier, because she's not a bad character. Um, in fact, she's pretty cool. She's fun to play if you use, excuse me, I don't know what that was. Um, she's fun to play if you're using her, like, spear weapon. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but if you're using the Bigoron sword, she sucks. Um, personality-wise, she's great. She's definitely the hottest of the Impas, despite being in, like, her 80s. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm fine with her being in the B tier. Um, Hyrule Warriors Zelda is a definite S tier. Um... I love her character. I love her design. She's very attractive. You know, I, I was surprised when they first released, you know, the Hyrule Warriors, you know, trailers and things. And she's wearing this like strapless, you know, sexy like dress. I'm going like Nintendo has never done a sexy Zelda. Like, ever. 
and still have never done one other than, you know, Hyrule Warriors, which technically wasn't Nintendo. Um, so, like, she's one of the most attractive Zeldas out there, honestly. Uh, I would say there's only one other Zelda that beats her in attractiveness, and we'll get to that when we get down there. <sighs> That said, Ilya, absolute top tier. One of my favorite characters from Twilight Princess. I I'm still convinced that her and Link get together at the end because, you know, obviously it's not canon, whatever. I get it. But I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I am convinced that they get together in the end because... She's just the, she's the character, you know? She's the one that you have the most romantic interest in in the game, you know? Uh, Ocarina of Time Impa, I mean, there's not a lot there. She's not that attractive. You know, she, she's the same age, I assume, as Hyrule Warriors Impa, but she's not as you know, attractive. She has, like, four lines in the whole game. She's just kind of there. You know? She, again, Ocarina of Time had no plot, so she had nothing. You know? Um, Irene, I think, is the... Uh, Link Between Worlds, which, um, that said, I don't see Maple in here, um, and that's who I thought this was at first, so I'm gonna go ahead with the idea of it still being Maple and put her in B tier. I don't really remember Irene at all. So, I'm going to be honest. Um, Isa, I really didn't ever do her side quests or anything. I, I know very little about her. That hair, it doesn't, it, it, it does nothing for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just, it does nothing for me. Um, I remember Jolene, but I don't remember Joanne. I think she was the mermaid in Phantom Hourglass. I don't, I'm going to put her here just because this is my list of, aside from the Great Fairy, this is my list, also Great Fairy should always be at the end. Um, this is sort of my list of, like, I don't really know this character, or there's nothing at all to go on. Jolene, however, is definitely, maybe not definitely, um, because, see, I'm, like, struggling to think. I'm going to put her C tier. I loved her and Lineback. And, like, everything about that whole situation, you know, the situation between them. Um, but, yeah. It, it is what it is. Uh, Corrine is still one of my favorite characters from Skyward Sword. So, I'm definitely going to put her in A tier. I wish that she didn't get together with Pippet or whatever the frick his name is. Because I love her, and I would... Obviously, she's a video game character, but I would totally get together with her. Um, anybody who knows me will probably know immediately where these next two characters are going to go. Um, because they're Lana and Linkle, and I am obsessed. To probably an unhealthy degree with both of them. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're that, yeah, S tier. At one, like, no question. Linkle is always going to be here. She will be the top of the S plus tier list. 
um, Lana shortly after, um, and then these, th these are, th th those aren't necessarily in order, but Lulu from Majora's Mask was fun, and I did like her character, but she's also a fish, so there's that. She's vastly more attractive than Rudo, but she's still a fish. That said, I am in love with the Maku Tree from Oracle of Ages. Like, I legitimately love her. <laughs> she is one of my favorite characters from Oracle of Ages. I legitimately love the Maku Tree from Oracle of Ages. Uh, Melon, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in D tier. Because Melon herself doesn't have a lot going for her. I think Kremia was a vastly better iteration of Malin. That said, the best iteration of, Mar of Malin is the original Marin. 100% top tier waifu. Like, Marin... Honestly, if Lana and Linkle were not on these lists, Marin would be the top tier of the S+. Because I just love Marin so much. She is seriously one of my favorites. Um, Minish Cap Zelda, I'm going to go ahead and throw an A tier because I love her. Uh, Medley, I'm going to go ahead and throw an S tier because I love her. Um, Midna, I'm going to go ahead and throw an S, well, excuse me, S, uh, no, uh, yeah, actually S tier is fine. I I'm going to put these in S tier. In fact, I'm going to put Medley and Midna up here because yes, please. Um, the minigame lady, whatever. Mifa, she's a fish. Just going to be honest. She's a fish. Naburu, I was so attracted to her. Uh, like, I didn't play Ocarina of Time until I was like 14 or so. But I was so attracted to her. And freaking, for the longest time. It's ridiculous. Um, Navi is going to go up here by Ciela. Nehru. Honestly, she's going to go up here with Din. Um, but I'm going to put her here. Um, I'm not going to put her and Din, like, next to each other. Uh, Neri, I'm going to put next to Ciela. Um, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages Zelda is still one of my favorites. Though, I wouldn't put her as high as Minish Cap Zelda. I'd probably put her at the top of the B tier. Um, Ocarina of Time, Zelda, I don't care at all about. She, whatever. Um, Ortel from Skyward Sword is definitely an A tier along with Beatrice. I know I'm technically going out of order, but they're both A tier and Payot has to go in S+. Plus. Right next to Marin because it's absolutely Paya, then Marin, then Lana, then Linkle, one hundred percent. Pinkle, I don't even, I, I don't even know who that is. That this is somebody from one of the Tingle games. I've never played them. Um, the sorry if I'm like suddenly going fast. It's just I have very little to say about those last set of characters. I guess. Um, Great Fairy from Wind Waker is adorable. I'm going to put her next to Minish Cap Zelda. Uh, the Receptionist? I don't even know who you are. You're probably an Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask character. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is the Receptionist from Majora's Mask. When you go to see the mayor. That's right. Eh? I mean, that's all she is. She's just a receptionist. She doesn't do anything in the game. Riju is going up here in my S tiers. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what? No. I, thank you. 
Now those are in order. Uh, Rosa, like freaking Rosa, has to be in A tier at least. Because even though she has like nothing going for her, like personality-wise, and she really doesn't do much in Oracle of Seasons, you go on a date with her like three times, man. I mean, come on. She's freaking A tier. Um, I'll put her below the Maku tree, um, but before Minish Cap. Rosa's sisters are going to be a B tier. And honestly, once it hits B tier, I don't know that I'm really like bothering to sort. Um, I'll sort her, though. Her, yeah, the, these three are sorted. I don't, these I'm not necessarily keeping track of. Rudo is a fish, and she is annoying, and I hate everything about her. Saria is an A tier that I would put up with. Oh, I like her better than any of the fairies, so I'm going to put her above, her below Fi. Um, Skyward Sword Impa was more annoying than she was interesting. So I'll put her in D. Um, that said, finally at long last, remember how I said that there was a Zelda that I thought was the most attractive Zelda? That goes to Skyward Sword Zelda. Um, I'm still going to put her in S tier because if I'm only ranking by, like, hotness, um, she would be above Breath of the Wild, but I like Breath of the Wild, like, personality-wise and things like that more, so. Spirit Track Zelda is still one of my favorite Zeldas, though. Um, I'm gonna put her up here in the S tier. Uh, Tattle, I'm just gonna put with the other fairies, because it just makes sense to me. Uh, Telma... I mean, she's the big boob lady from Twilight Princess. That's really all there is to her. So, I really can't rate her that highly. Um, Tetra, on the other hand, can absolutely go into the A tier. Um, I would say that I like... Minish Cap Zelda more than Tetra, but they're very close... Like, Tetra's a very close second, if you will, <laughs> you know? Um, that said, I find it weird that there's a Wind Waker Zelda in here, considering that that's Tetra. So I'm just not even going to sort her, because as far as I'm concerned, Tetra and Wind Waker Zelda are literally the same person. Uh, Twilight Princess Zelda is still one of my favorite Zeldas as well. Um, I'll rank her above all of these, but below Tetra. Twin Rova is... There, there's a lot of memes about how hot she is. I have never found her even remotely attractive. I will, on the other hand, say that Urbosa is extremely attractive, so... Varen, I find very attractive, but she's very mean and very evil. Um, I'm going to put her in B, but I really do like her as a villain. I thought she was one of the better villains. Um, I, like, I think she was the, was the best villain in the Oracle series. You know, Onyx was all right. Twin Rova just felt like they were there to be there. Ganon was mindless. You know, out of all of the villains, Varen was the villain of the Oracle series, in my opinion. Um, the original Zelda from Zel Legend of Zelda slash Zelda 2. She's cute as heck, but not as cute as Four Swords. I'm going to put her at the uh, in the C tier. 
<laughs> Zelda's adventure. I, I have to put her at the very bottom in the E tier because at least I know her. And this has mostly been my I don't really have any opinion list. The Great Fairy, of course, being the exception in that I, I think that she's a she is yeah. So she's she 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 great great fairies at the very 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 bottom of this list. If there was a freaking extra row below and that row was, let's say, purple. And that row was called Absolutely No Way Jose, Please God No. Then I would say that she would be at that level. Um, Sue Bell is cute as heck. It doesn't she get together though with the other guy in Wind Waker? I don't remember. But I'm gonna go ahead and put her in the B tier because she's cute as heck. Uh Rutella is a fish. Um she's better than Rudo, at least. She's better than Ocarina of Time, Zelda. Uh she's better than Mifa. So I'm gonna put her here. Hey, well, that's it. Um, again, I'm not ranking Wind Waker Zelda because I've already ranked Wind Waker Zelda. I don't know why Tetra and Zelda are separate. So, um, but with that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is my tier list of the Zelda ladies, waifus, whatever you want to call it. Um... Tell me your opinion, you know. Do, do you like any of the characters that I don't know down here? Do, do you like the absolutely no way, Jose, please God, no, great fairy? Um, do you like any of these other characters? You know, wh where would you rank them? You know, you can come on out to the Discord. We have the Meme Lords of Mordor channel where you can share your tier lists. Um... The, you know, this is the Legend of Zelda waifu tier list, if you want to make it for yourself. Um, and you can come on out, hang out with us, and things like that as well in the channel. Um, again, don't come to the Discord just to show your tier list. You can do that like in the comments if you want. I'm sure there's a way to do that. I just don't know how. Probably like upload it to... I was going to say photo bucket, but like... Are Photo Bucket and Image Shack even still around anymore? Have I just, like, showed my age? Oh, dear. Imager, I think, is the one that most people use now, right? I don't even know. I haven't done, like, the photo sharing thing and uh, the, like, image sharing thing in so long. Um... But yeah, there's also a link down below to the playlist. Um, if there's not a link, then there's definitely an end card. Um, so you can check that out. And with that, I hope you enjoyed. I, that's not what I usually say. Um, but yeah, with that, I will see you all next time. See you later.